You don't fit in any category. That's the oddest thing about you. That's the problem, and I feel it every day. And you know what uh, the other sad thing is? Is everything that you once had, you've lost. I remember when you were the uh, wrestling expert for 202, and now it's Sam for the, from the Sam and Than Show. How is it Sam? I'm still the wrestling expert. He's young blood. Uh, the wrestlers apparently love him. He knows everything about their past. It's everything that you used to be. Because people are like, what are you doing with Fez? I go, well, he does know a lot about wrestling. I know everything about wrestling. I know ten times more than Sam does. BS. Sad. BS. Plus, there's Sam with that woman of his who must <laughs> want it and forcing him. Uh, here's uh, Brian. Brian, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, boys. How you doing? Good. Hey, uh, I smell another radio war. How about uh, uh, Fez versus Sam wrestling trivia? Uh, I would not let Fez do that. Fez is not up to that. The Why old not? Fe- the old Fez, yes. The Fez, the hungry Fez, absolutely. <laughs> I could destroy Sam in wrestling trivia. Destroy him. I don't think so, brother. No. Nope. Totally. I don't even think, do you even watch anymore? I check it out from time to time. See, that's know? the thing. He knows the new stuff. You're like, remember that time Heenan? I go, nobody wants to hear about Heenan anymore, Fez. You're living in the past. I know enough about what's going on. I don't think so. Lil Beaver doesn't wrestle anymore. <laughs> Is that the only reference point you had? A fucking midget from 68? <laughs> that was it? Little Beaver? Lord Lilbrook. <laughs> Sky low low. <laughs> I know my midgets. Did you only follow the midget league? <laughs> I love the midgets. Are you allowed to even call them midgets anymore? Because no. they used to just say midget wrestling coming up <laughs> right. after the commercial. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was Lil Tokyo. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. We we get that they're small. <laughs> he was we, dirty. We understand that they're midgets. You know, I didn't know until I heard the word little. <laughs> I like any time they'll go like this. Uh you know, Bret Hart is here tonight. Why don't we bring him out? And it's just a midget dressed like Bret Hart. And that's the insult. You're a fucking midget. <laughs> that's how I get even with people. That was when their nicknames actually were who the person was. Hillbilly Jim. I guess he's a big hillbilly. Then. I am a right, I'm a hillbilly. You know, that motherfucker was so... He was he was too far out ahead. He would have been with the blue-collar comedy tour today. <laughs> he was that fucking good. Yeah. Just and, wearing a horseshoe around his neck. And then Haystacks... Did he have a horseshoe also, Haystack? Yeah. Why don't all these motherfuckers have a horseshoe around their neck? <laughs> have luck. you ever seen that in real life? <laughs> no, is you... That, is that like a country pimp? <laughs> you would never see a farmer actually going to work wearing a horseshoe around his neck. I loved his song, too, that he performed himself. I used yeah. to sing it all the time. Uh, don't go messing with country, Wait a boy. <laughs> uh, uh, hold on. Uh, I hate to interrupt you. The future just walked in. Oh. Sam from the Sam Dan Show. Boo. Wow. Wrestling uh, trivia, you know the most, um, big man. Yeah, 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 I do. Yeah. Uh, remember the old days, Fez? Yeah. I can hey, compete what? with him yeah. on I know. any level. I know. You're on that WrestleMania 94 thing that they're showing <laughs> on TV now. WWE. 94. WWE 24-7. <laughs> 14 years ago. 14. <laughs> Who was it? You, the Hulkster. Sure. Duke the drum, Dumpster Drossy. <laughs> what are you just yelling out names of the night now? Kamala. Do you know that most of the people that you hung out then with now are dead? That's sad. We yeah. lose a lot of them, sure. Yeah, most of them to old age. So, but there is no way Sam could beat me in wrestling trivia. It just couldn't happen. It's something I've, you know, I've watched all my entire life. Is that right, Cocoon? <laughs> you, don't call me Cocoon. Not Wilford Brimley. I know you've watched it your entire life. Yes. You were there when they fucking invented the leg lock. You go back so far. <laughs> there was no leg locks until the Watley era. What if we locked the leg? <laughs> all right, Sam, would you be up for this? Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... I, aside from the only way Fez could have any more knowledge about wrestling would possibly be the territory system to where he lived. Like maybe F- the, like Florida, Florida wrestling. They were already putting restrictions he on might be this. Slightly more familiar. Yeah. Well, what we could do, and we'll work this out with your uh, agent yeah. slash partner, Thad. So uh, we'll have some people 
uh, come up and put the trivia together. And uh, is there any restrictions, uh, Fez, is there any restrictions for you? Do you not want anything after 1967? <laughs> no, I'm fine Should, with everything. Can the last champion be Bruno? <laughs> Would you be happier then? <laughs> I'd be happier, but no, I'm not going to put a restriction on Have this. Have you ever seen any of those classic Madison Square Garden matches where they'll go on for an hour and you won't even see the audience applaud? Yet the garden is fucking sold out. And it's a bunch of guys just sitting there watching two guys in an arm lock yeah. for 45 minutes. And I'm like... Was there nothing else to do? You know it sucks. You're not even cheering. And those matches would be two out of three falls. So you would have to watch at least two of those matches go on in they an hate, hour. They hated finishing moves back then. Mm. There was no pizzazz. Yeah, there was nothing. It was just, yeah. There wasn't any fucking music. There wasn't any costumes. Grabbing the guy by the hair was a big deal. He was supposed to freak out. Like, yeah. ah! My hair hurts. <laughs> you hair. Do you understand how much my scalp stings right now? <laughs> you just got clotheslines. So your your only thing you worry about is Florida wrestling. I'd say so, but even that, I mean, I've done enough. I was born in eighty three. Mm, but I, I was born in seventy nine. We're not that far <laughs> off. But you were seventy nine in seventy nine. Thirty's coming up. I spent enough time uh, like watching tapes, and I've done my history. Why? This Why is, would a young man waste his life I have watching completely. old wrestling tapes from the 70s? This is all I do. I have <laughs> literally thousands of wrestling tapes in my house. Now, Fez doesn't even have a VCR yet. He doesn't like <laughs> the new contraption. I don't believe in the new technology. I think it's a fad. He's always calling me at night telling me that he thinks this toaster's on fire. <laughs> and he unplugs everything. Fez when he goes to sleep, he unplugs the clock. Fez watches Gorgeous George on the viewfinder. <laughs> Oh, the, the youngsters are laughing at you. It's a view master. <laughs> Back in your day, it was. All right, so what's uh, what are the restrictions for you, Fez? I have no restrictions. Not at all. Territories up till today, to 2008. Look at the 2008 <laughs> Royal what Rumble. Are you fucking glares and Sam. Like this matters, by the way. Oh, it matters. Oh yeah, it, it definitely matters. matters. All right, so who's going to put the questions together? That's what we got to do. You Who are we going to fucking trust? I think I we could trust I don't Earl, wanna... Pitsy, and Dave. Well, I mean, is that what you're looking for? If you're looking for a fucking rigged game, uh, we'll just, you know, we'll yell out uh, who's tougher. Fez or which one of Fez's brothers is throwing the, <laughs> the fucking bionic elbow? It's got to be somebody who knows wrestling that's not just going to Wikipedia and saying, right. oh, that's a fact. And because some of the stuff is not reliable. Yeah. You know. I, who's somebody that we know on the outside that we could all agree to? Do we have any friends that are wrestling trivia fans? That I'm, could put together a little uh, quiz for us. I'm trying to think. The twins are big wrestling fans. Are you talking about your balls? No. <laughs> Herbeck. I believe Flea Man is a big wrestling fan. Oh, oh I can't I depend on I Flea. He's a up, fucking... All right, you just cost yourself a point oh, there. I'll write that down. I, I don't want this to be to 100. I can't <laughs> tell you how much of the boy the rest of it. And what's on the line here? What's going on on the line? I'd like that fro off of him. Well, that's the fucking up on A's gimmick. Yeah, exactly. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Take a little shot of O&A. Oh, by the way, O&A 6 to 11 beat Sam again. Face. Oh, no, it's actually face. Uh, six to twelve with bonus time. So well, I was I was that's including. Totally, no, you're not gonna, <laughs> live programming. People are going to switch hour. off their radios. With bonus bonus time. Six to eleven. Believe me, they're six to twelve. Their fucking radios are long off before we come on. Right now, we could be doing this at my house. <laughs> <laughs> so we don't have anyone that you guys can gr agree on to put this uh, test together. No, I don't know anyone that that I would trust to put the questions. Then we're not doing the contest. <laughs> well, I don't know anyone <laughs> offhand. <laughs> I can't sit here. We could contact somebody from the WWE to put it together. Oh, you'd love that, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because you have connections today. Mm -hmm. We're all fucking his, uh, Fez's connections left with Leaping Lanny pop <laughs> Now, here's somebody, a very good friend of mine, that might be perfect for this. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fairplay, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Oh. Hey, there, is, does that sound like an idea? I put together some questions for you guys. Go back. Uh, what's the starting point? I say the starting point is Jesus and the Apostles, <laughs> the original NWO. All right, so, so we're going back to the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Yes, <laughs> early on, the Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse. Real first century stuff. Perfect, perfect. Now, uh, I'm going to be in New York. Uh, I'm doing a show on another satellite. 
place uh, for Survivor next Thursday. Mm-hmm. Uh, but uh, I'm going to be in New York. So how about uh, how about Friday? I next Friday definitely. I like the idea of Johnny Fairplay. We let the other satellite company pay his way into town, put him up, and then we <laughs> steal him for a big wrestling contest. I love it. I trust Johnny Fairplay. Now, Fez, you want to go with a high ankle strain or whatever to get out of this? <laughs> no, I won't be walking around with a boot on my foot. Here's the difference. Uh, Sam wants it. Uh, and then, two, at your age, so many brain cells have died that I don't know whether you're going to remember things that you should know. Oh, Sam doesn't know how bad I want this. Uh, you better want right, it bad. How many questions should I put together? Uh, that's a very good one here. What do we say? We go 20, 25 questions? Yeah, I was going to say more like 30 because we've had times where we, we've gone to like 2021, 20, but then yeah. we, we need overtime, and 30 okay. is, we'll cover the so overtime. Like 30, 30 questions, we'll start, uh, start uh, well, according to WWE, it all started when uh, Hogan pinned uh, the Iron Sheik, so nothing before then. Hogan pins the Iron Sheik, are you guys oh. comfortable before that? I'm comfortable before that. We can even go before it. Uh, let's say 68 starts it all. It'll be 40 years of wrestling. <laughs> Very nice. Gene Kaninsky, Big Thunder, as the NWA right. well, champion. Give me, a, give me a year. Give me a year, uh, Seth. Well, I say let's, uh, let's start 1980. Yeah, I was going to say 80. Right. The year of your birth. Let's try to make it, uh, like, throughout the, throughout the years, let's make it not... 80s heavy or 90s heavy. That's a nice, even distribution throughout the years. Well, I'm going to tell you something else. Johnny Fairplay is a prof- uh, professor of wrestling. Mm-hmm. He's not just a wrestling manager. This is a guy who grew up loving wrestling, still loves angles to this day. So I think we can all uh, trust Johnny. I trust Johnny Fairplay. I absolutely yeah. trust Johnny. He's a new dad. I trust him. Uh, one of the things, though, uh, no questions about blacks. Do we do that? To, uh, oh, please. <laughs> please. only makes sense. You want to keep this classy. The SD stood for what? An SD Jones. <laughs> Uh, awesome, guys. All right, uh, we'll, yeah. uh, we'll be in touch with you. Okay, awesome. All right, so talk to you later. Good luck. Uh, study up, guys, and uh, be ready. All right, peace. Thanks, Johnny Fairplay. Now, between the two of you... T- um, over here to No Name. You're on Run of Fez. Hello? Yes, go ahead, New Mexico. I, uh, I was going to see what Earl thought about uh, Harlem Heat. I hadn't heard anything about that. Earl, you love the Heat? Love the Heat. Booker, Booker T and Stevie Ray. You know what their original names were when they were Harlem Heat and WCW? Don't know. Fez? Oh, look at Watley. I don't know. This thing's over. Okay. That is were, not over. Car it off. They were introduced as Kent and Cole, Harlem Heat. Can't believe you didn't know that. Mm. Some of us are stupid and old. <laughs> Maybe I'm just holding back. But mm. you're not. Maybe <laughs> I knew. But you didn't. Maybe mm. I did. I don't think you did. Mm-hmm. We'll Let's see what go, happens. I, I don't want to even fucking do this. No, we I are doing this. this. I get, agreed to this. I, ha- I can't have the show get embarrassed. I agreed to this. Did, I am in. Did we come up with uh, uh, what's going to be the prize? No, we haven't come up with that yet. All right, what about this? Loser. Mm-hmm. We'll stay with the gold dust gimmick. You got to dress up like gold dust. Walk you up and down 57th. Uh, I would, uh, yep. You'll do it? I'll do it. I'll, I will do it. Yes. Somebody can get me a gold dust suit. I'm in, baby. Well, you'll do it anyway. <laughs> I have a feeling like there's a lot of Friday and Saturday nights you're dressed up like gold dust. Yeah, but he has, he has to dress up as blue dust. The blue meanies gold oh, dust. That was great. All right, uh, you, uh, come on in here. Come on in, Stover. Uh, he has a correction. And even though you're the, the new kid uh, in town, yeah. they come newer. Our own Stover here. <laughs> is it Harlem Heat? Yes, how you doing? It was Kane and Cole, That's, wasn't it? No, his yes, name was, was Stover. It was Kane and All Cole. All right, I corrected myself. And also, uh, Ahmed Johnson, uh, yeah. Pearl River Plunge. Was his finishing move. He was the Pearl River Powerhouse. No, he wasn't known as the Pearl River Powerhouse. All right, go back to the tapes and tell me what Vince McMahon called him. I don't the remember. Pearl River Powerhouse. <laughs> I don't remember that at all. I didn't think you so. Think, you think this kid is shit? Is that what you're saying, Stover? I'm going to say he's shit just like his afro is shit. <laughs> oh! <laughs> him and that struck match, they're both shit. That's what oh! I'm <laughs> There's still room in Afro Wars. <laughs> There's still room. I don't see there anybody is? else competing. 
Well, I, I'm fucking glad you came in and corrected this fucking Johnny come lately. <laughs> I didn't get corrected. I corrected him. No. He's, I, he's coming in faulted for... He wasn't the Pearl River powerhouse. Like, somebody's going to tell me that Ahmed Johnson was not the Pearl River I powerhouse. Just did. You fucking Ooh. said Kent and Cole, no, which I, I believe is a shoe. That was a slip, it is. A slip up, but Kane and Cole is what I meant. Mm -hmm. There can't be slip ups next Friday, Sam. Oh, there won't be. <laughs> Or you'll yeah. be or you'll be gold dusting it down Fifty uh, Seventh Street, man. I'm gonna shatter your dreams. <laughs> good one. Good shatter one. Dreams, gold dust. <laughs> yeah, it's good. I picked up on it. Yeah. I thought that was stupidly clever. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's get this started. Uh, Fezzi, you claim that you know more wrestling trivia than anybody, and then anyone, especially. Yeah. I am the XM two hundred two virus wrestling expert. Well, uh, Sam, you disagree. You had no life as a child, right? No, I still have no life to this day. And you sit around watching wrestling tapes? All the time. Johnny, you were the same way as a kid? You yeah, focused on wrestling very heavily? Absolutely. Every, uh, I, I would, uh, in, it, in like the, the 80s boom, I was uh, averaging about 16 hours a week. But the difference was you still slept with women, where yes. these two, uh, yeah. no interest whatsoever. Exactly. We stuck with the <laughs> wrestling, Ron. Well, I have a question. Sam, how many times have you been invited to Bobby Heenan's Christmas party? I have yet to be invited to Bobby Heenan's Christmas uh, party. Uh, Fez? Really? I've been to three. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, sorry, <it's> today. <laughs> Point have, Fez. Have you ever been on a wrestling cruise? <laughs> no, I've never been on a wrestling cruise. Fez? <laughs> yes, I was on a bruise cruise <laughs> with uh, Bobby Heenan, Gorilla Monsoon, and Jerry Briscoe. Really? How old are you? That these <laughs> things, you, do, you do anything since the 70s? <laughs> I've done stuff. All right, so what are the rules here? Uh, each question is worth one point. Uh -huh. If the person is incorrect, the other contestant gets to steal the point, and the first person to ten wins. Should I go smoke during this <laughs> hideous? <laughs> no, you're going to want to say this. I don't really <laughs> want, though. It's going to be great. Well, how about this? We'll, we'll try with the practice question just to, just to show you how hardcore we're going with this. And, okay. And, and, okay. I, and I'd like to say that the questions were provided by ProWrestling.net, the newest wrestling website. Uh, they do their official launch on Monday. So ProWrestling.net. Wow, oh, nice. So, yeah. All right. I, I, you know, I bring out the big this guns. This is exclusive. Yeah. So, nice. So the first practice question, and uh, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll start with Fez. Okay. Okay. What WWF legend went on the Arsenio Hall show and claimed he would become the first black WWF champion. I would say that's Junkyard Doug. Damn! Incorrect. Sam to steal. I will say... Coco Beware. Damn! I didn't know we were doing Arsenio Hall trivia. Uh, the answer is the African Dream Akeem. Akeem. Oh, <laughs> and Arsenio we, did not find the humor in him saying that. Yeah. I guess and, not. And we would have accepted one man gang. Yeah. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing started. Well, this could take a long time. Yeah. Did you both stink? I didn't care for the practice question. Yeah. So, uh, well, that, that was a hard one. We're, we're starting off easier to harder. So, okay. you know, uh, we're, we're going to have a coin flip. So, yeah. uh, who's going to call it? Sam can call Sam's it. the visitor. Ladies first. Oh. <laughs> Heads. Ready? Heads. Tails. All right, I'll take the first question. All right. Fez, for one point, name the popular wrestler who replaced an injured Chris Candido and defeated Lance Storm at ECW's first pay-per-view, Barely Legal. Replace Chris Candido? I'm going to say Tommy Dreamer. Damn! Oh. <clears throat> that was easy. Sam to steal. It was Rob Van Dam. Woo! Oh! Are Wait, these the I, practice questions? You know, I'm not. I'm not uh, understanding the correct and incorrect. What is correct? Correct is. Woo! And incorrect. Damn. Okay. Clever. Now I got it. Yeah. <laughs> Very witty. See, Pitsy's my man. Yeah, Pitsy's your guy. <laughs> okay. Question number two. So does this go to Sam? Yes, now it goes to Sam. Okay. Oh, here we go. What was Barry Windham's nickname when he returned to the WWF as a singles wrestler following his stint in the U.S. Express Tag Team? Was this the Widowmaker? Woo! Sam's did up you know that one, Fez? That one I knew. Oh, so did I. I should have lost the coin toss. He What's that, have... Dave? Uh, this looks tough. Sam's up 2-0. 2-0. Flying start. Wow. I wish the Midnight Rider was here to help Fez. <laughs> <laughs> He's Come on, Daddy! It. <laughs> Question number three. Which one of the following celebrities did not appear at WrestleMania 2? Ricky Schroeder, 
Ray Charles, Emmanuel Lewis, Clara Where's the Beef Peller, Susan St. James, Dick Butkus, or Joan Rivers? Wow. I am going to say Ricky Schroeder. Damn! I would say Ray Charles. Damn! Oh. The correct answer was Emmanuel Lewis. Webster was not at WrestleMania. Oh, okay. I would have thought for sure someone carried him in like Michael Jackson. <laughs> I thought we all knew he wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> know that. Question number four. Uh, whose is this? This is Sam. Sam. Okay. Sam. What was the Ultimate Warrior's name when he wrestled in World Class Championship Wrestling prior to his WWF debut? The Dingo Warrior. Woo! I'm getting, he's getting wrestling questions, I'm getting celebrity questions. I would find, I find having to say the term the Dingo Warrior the most embarrassing thing any young man could say. How could you forget it though? <laughs> Good wow. point. Three zip. The Dingo Three Warrior zero could have been Sam. He could have been the greatest gay porn star ever. No <laughs> kidding. Sure. Uh, You're down three points here, uh, Fez. Pivotal point. Fez dust is what I'll call it, him. The <laughs> old, Pitsy put the put the questions in order. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll uh, hear that later. Yeah, but I think we I think we might be looking at a trade. All right, here we go. Whose is this? Fez. Fez. Okay. Which wrestler jumped from WWF and debuted on the first Monday Nitro? Jump from the WWF and debuted on the first Monday Nitro. I'll say Ravishing Rick Rude. Oh. Damn! Yeah. Damn! I thought you watched wrestling. Uh -oh. I watch wrestling! That was Lex Luger. Woo! Oh, Jesus this Christ. is the fucking latest Three's Company. <laughs> <laughs> you I know Three's stink. Company. 4-0 Sam Roberts. Woo! I, I'd like to just call this. this yeah, is just, I, you I, want I'm to, not out of it he's yet. He's bleeding. Is this slaughter rule? Yeah. Oh, my God. And it's Sam's question. Oh. Yes, it is. It's my game. Wow. Which two wrestlers fought for the WCW title that Ric Flair vacated when he left the company and signed with the WWF? Hmm. I will say... Sting... And Sting. Barry Wyndham. <laughs> Damn! It's yours to steal. Come on. I'm going to say Barry Wyndham and Lex Luger. Woo! Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come, yeah. Back, yeah. Come back, kid! Come there back, kid! There you go. Oh, my God. I love This is great. This is, yeah. this is why I'm here. Luger right here. managed by Harley Race. <laughs> <and>, uh, <laughs> if you want to give an extra. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually I, I went to a, a WCW match at the Greensboro Coliseum, uh, the, the next tapings they had there. And uh, Doug Dillinger's there and, and you know outside the parking lot. And like we're waiting for the wrestlers to leave. He's like, hey, everyone's gone. What are you guys waiting for? And I'm like, for Ric Flair to bring the belt back. He goes, we all are kids. We all are. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, next question. For cool. Fez. For Fez. Who wrestled as the executioner and was pinned by Tito Santana in the opening match at the first WrestleMania? As the executioner. Um, Iron Mike Sharp? Damn! Uh, for a brief moment, we had Cameron. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> WrestleMania won. I will say the only executioner that I know, and Terry Bam Bam Gordy. Damn! <laughs> He, he was the he, executioner, he but, that, but, but the first WrestleMania was Playboy Buddy Rose, oh. hmm. who, Playboy showed up Buddy last, Rose. who showed up last minute, put on a hood, and actually put tape over the, uh, the Buddy Rose <laughs> on, on, on his uh, shoes. That's <laughs> all he <laughs> Just tape that up, we're ready to go. Tape it up, we're ready, buddy. It's only WrestleMania. Yeah. <laughs> right. Score remains 4-1, to one, Sam in control, okay. with, with, with his question. Yeah, we understand that. No. Oh. <laughs> Who was the infamous heel referee who pinned Davy Boy Smith in a six-man tag match at WrestleMania three? Danny Davis. Woo! Five one. Yeah, I know all of Sam's. Uh, honestly, I, I he's like I, Obama. I, he is I, like <laughs> Obama right now. I, I think I think he should have said dastardly Danny Davis, but we'll, mm. I'll give you credit. I think it was dangerous. Okay, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to help you, Fez. <laughs> okay, next question for Fez. Where was the first Monday Nitro event held? The first Monday Nitro event was held in Orlando, Florida. Damn! Well, Fez, the first Monday Nitro was uh, actually held in the Mall of America. Woo! And, and what city would that be in? 
What say is the Mall of America? Now we're doing mall <laughs> trivia. <laughs> well, no, I, I, have, I have here the Mall of America in. That's a two. That should be two points then. That's a two part. That's not a two. What, finish. Finish your answer. I would guess the Mall of America is in. St. Louis. What do I know where the Mall of America is? <laughs> I can steal that back. <laughs> Minneapolis. <laughs> Minneapolis, Minnesota. No, actually, Bloomington. Oh, I didn't know that. Really? Uh, Minneapolis. Uh, Bloomington, so was... Bloomington, Minnesota. That's so we're my... giving it to him for uh, Mall of America? No. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I think no, no. Oh, I say no. That's right. They can't do Mall of America. <laughs> Mall of and, America. All right, fine. R- R- Ronnie, I, Ronnie I, I think... Uh, uh, you know, we'll I'm going to get... leave it to Lily, and I'll stay out of it, because I... Give him the point. Yes. Oh, really? Oh, really, wow. Lily. What's it? Well, Creative team. Six By the way, she looks fantastic today. <laughs> yes, she right. the sweater, the hair. I've never seen her before. She's hot. Yeah, she is hot. Like, I want to work out, you know, a little three-way dance. Yes, you know? well, <laughs> right now Ann has her, but when he's done. Yeah. <laughs> Six one, Sam. Oh, this is ugly. This is ugly. Okay. Who, uh, Sam's question. Is that right? Yep. Yes. Okay. Yep. Jesus. Sorry. <laughs> What name did Eric Coolis use in his only ECW appearance when he was grotesquely bladed by New Jack? Mass Transit. Fuck. Woo! <laughs> That's what you it's, got in that one? I, I actually knew that one. He was yeah, the 17 right. year old kid, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. They got scarred up. Yeah, and his father screamed, He's only 17. All right. What was the name of the children's game? that Eric Bischoff and Sonny Ono marketed on AWA television, which led to Uncle Eric's first job in professional wrestling. <laughs> the name of the game <laughs> Eric Bischoff and Sonny Ono marketed in the AWA. Yes. This is, this is like the last of the AWA. I guess so. Uh, wrestle fun. I have no <laughs> idea. <laughs> oh, I thought that was correct. <laughs> <laughs> Sam uh, to steal. I'll go with Wrestle-O-Rama. Damn! If I heard a woo, I was going yeah. to <laughs> Ninja Star Wars. Never heard of and, it. And, and, well, and, and Eric Bischoff would later go on to do the Blood Runs Cold Glacier gimmick. You know, he, he, he was always into that ninja thing. Loves ninjas. Loves ninjas. Because <laughs> he uh, does karate himself. Yeah. True. Well, there, there's money in ninjas. There sure. Really is. So who, who doesn't want a throwing star? I mean, honestly. It works. It works. I think Wrestle Rama was closer. <laughs> <laughs> Lily? <laughs> no. She's not paying attention. <laughs> right, this is this is this is no skirts allowed, huh? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Who did Paul Heyman replace as the booker of Eastern Championship Wrestling, which later became Extreme Championship Wrestling under his direction? I'll say Eddie Gilbert. Woo! Look at me! <laughs> Look wow. at me! Oh, We're looking at you. I, 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 who wants the I, expert I of two hundred two? <laughs> I would have bet money you would have said Wait, Todd Gordon. Was that enthusiasm? I couldn't tell. <laughs> yes. Almost. Eight to hey, one. Hey, I'm louder, <laughs> but I still have the same dull cadence. <laughs> <laughs> no. Eight to one, Sam. All right, five eight to questions. one. Come on, Watley. <laughs> Do you, you have, know what? Today you should cry. Do you have a seven-point question? <laughs> yes, this one's for seven. <laughs> All right. Which former WWE Spanish broadcaster was married to Wendy Richter? Former WWE Spanish broadcaster. Uh, Pedro Morales. Damn. Do you even have cable? <laughs> yes, I have cable. I'm not getting wrestling questions. I'm getting board game questions. I'm getting who, who's marrying Spanish people questions. Sam steal. I will say Hugo Savinovich. Oh. <laughs> yeah. oh. Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Shit. Nine the only one. other oh, fuck. Spanish yeah. announcer. Nine. Two one. The only Whoa! other one was Lillian Garcia. Arriba. <laughs> you know what? I just like to say to all those bitches on Whackbag to think that they could take this kid on. I don't think it could be done. Well, He's the best something. I've ever seen. The message boards all said it. Sam is a kid who just sits around and watches WWE twenty four seven and knows a bunch of post Stone Cold stuff. My tape library invented WWE twenty four seven. It's louder, but it's the same cadence. <laughs> yeah, it's still one tone. tone. Yeah. Listen to me, everyone. Look. I have some kind of energy. I have a nine to one lead. I am the expert. Shit. Wow. And this is his question, right? Yep. He so can win here. <laughs> yeah, can Sam I? gets this correct. He wins. Yeah, baby. Right, we're, we're do a little chicanery here. <laughs> what are you doing? Miss it. Miss it. Miss it. Miss it. This is. 
What names did Scott Hall and Dan Spivey use when they were teamed together as American Starship? Uh, I, the Midnight Cowboy and Waylon Mercy. Damn! Scott Hall and Spivey, American Starship. One was Eagle and one was Wolf. <sighs> Damn! Now stop mixing up those questions and give me the question <laughs> I deserve. We ain't going to get them right anyway. Starship Ooh. Coyote and Starship Eagle. Oh, Coyote and Eagle. Ugh. Wolf, Wolf is American Gladiators. All right. <laughs> All right, my question. I'm still alive. Okay. What legendary boxer appeared in Mr. T's corner for his boxing match against Roddy Piper at WrestleMania 2? Was that, uh... George Foreman? Damn! For, for the title. Um, I'll say Joe Lewis. Damn! Yes! Frazier. Was it Frazier? Joe Frazier. That's who it was. And, and Lou Duva was in Piper's Corner. I was two years old, for the record. Well, I thought you had, I thought you had tapes. <laughs> I do have a lot of tapes. I don't have time to sit around and watch WrestleMania 2 all day. <laughs> okay, this, this is it. This is uh, keeping them in order. We're not, we're not digging from the bottom on this one. Trying to help. <laughs> Which female wrestling personality did Vince McMahon briefly hire to serve as a replacement for Roddy Piper as the host of a weekly interview segment? And what was the segment called? Adrian Adonis' Flower Shop. Damn! To steal. All right, read, read it again, please. Which female wrestling personality did Vesic Man briefly hire to serve as a replacement for Roddy Piper as the host of a weekly interview segment, and what was the segment called? I'm going to say the fabulous moolah and... Go ahead and damn it. The dollar sign. <laughs> <laughs> briefly <laughs> hired. Mula was one of the longest was the longest running champion of all time. Brief. But to do an interview well, segment, well, don't mock Sam. him out. He's retarded. <laughs> I am <laughs> not retarded. <laughs> Missy Hyatt hosted one edition of Missy's Manor, oh. which was hyped in a WWF magazine article. However, the segment went so poorly that Missy Man asked her to become a WWF federette slash ring girl, and she refused. That's more trivia. Missy Hyatt information than I needed. <laughs> all right, back to Fez. Okay. I which current main event wrestler left the ECW arena because he was offended by the crucifixion angle involving Raven and the Sandman? All right. I am going to say... Repeat the question, please. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't Which... know any of these. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Which current main event wrestler left the ECW arena, arena because he was offended by the crucifixion angle involving Raven and the Sandman? Shawn Michaels. Damn! I could beat you with this. The correct answer is your Olympic hero, Kurt Angle. Woo! For the Woo! Win! Woo! Well, I, I told you I was the expert of 202. You least barely it, beat me. At least it was close. There he is with his belt. <laughs> I will wear this belt every day so we all remember who is the wrestling expert. At oh. least it's not a kid's belt. Oh, wait. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's still too big. Wow. It's a spinner belt, too. You know what? Uh, because of this, now you're off the podcast. That's the end of that. <laughs> wow. The mighty have fallen. Jeez. Well, there goes the last of the pride. <laughs> <laughs> that was unbelievable, Fez. I am shocked. Can I follow Fez Dust around with the belt? Yeah, of course there? you can. <laughs> right. Mock him out all day if you want. So now I will have to dress as Fez Dust, a uh, gold dust parody. You couldn't even keep it close enough to make it fun radio. <laughs> <laughs> it was what? just a blowout. I have more questions that I didn't ask <laughs> than I asked. Bears Patriots was closer. <laughs> I knew his. I knew yours and mine. Oh. Oh. The worst thing was winning the toss. Oh, what a mockery. Jesus. What a mockery. <laughs> When's the last time you had a good day, Watley? And I'm it's, being totally serious. I think it's been a good 10, 12 years now. Look at him. He's just carrying it around, <laughs> enjoying himself. I it's more like dead weight for her. Hey, you want to know some mathematics? You should have seen how bad my friend Fez lost today. <laughs> <laughs> 10 to 1. Wow. We understand the score. No. It's been stated. 10 to 1. You didn't get two or three points? Ten to one! Wow. One! We I, I understand. Against Sam. Yes, Sam. That, this, uh, honestly, is uh, worse than what happened before during Three's Company trivia. <laughs> At least then you had the balls to leave. Ten, <laughs> ten to two! <laughs>
I got company. more than two on Ten three's company. Three's Sam company. is walking around everywhere with that goddamn uh, thing. With his toy belt. <laughs> now, you, now you see why I want to uh, make the trade for Sam and Than. Winners. They are winners. <laughs> Gonna be blowing uh, gold, gold dust and shit on the street. Are you gonna what? be blowing gold dust? You gotta, you gotta get dust and blow. Go, <laughs> go dust. Go dust. Yes, yeah, I'll be go dust. Go dust. Dot com. <laughs> Super Bowl commercial <laughs> <laughs> with a cat cool coming in. Fuzzy, today uh, you're gonna finally do a stunt. This is the first one in a while. You got uh, dominated by Sam and Sam. In wrestling trivia. Sure, and I two guess on one. It was one of those things where you don't know what you used to know years ago? I guess so. I mean, I thought I was prepared. I thought I had all the memory of wrestling in my head. And then as it went on, I did freeze up more and more. I, my brain locked up. Here's one of the ones that you actually miss. What do you wrestle in? And we would have accepted ring or squared circle. And uh, you missed it. Yeah. You said you... Uh, you wrestle in that TV set. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, brain freeze. You know, it's the yeah. first thing that came to my mind. There was pressure on me. Do you remember how it used to be, uh, Mikey Boy, where he would be Mr. Wrestling? Oh, yeah. You, the people would call in and no one could stump him. Or no. Yeah. You have to give, you were giving away a prize and people could stump him and nobody could. Nobody could do it. And I would put out cars. All right, we have a goddamn car to give away. Nobody would win. I did it nine times in a row. Oh, oh boy. Ten, 10 to 1. And Sam's much younger, too. Like you much, should... much younger. <laughs> Not that much. You take some of the older stuff. You would I lose know. Edge, but no. And no what, Sam, what do you do? You sit at home and you look at old fucking kinescopes of wrestling? I just watch wrestling all the time. It's, yeah. uh, I got tapes. I got whatever the 24 7 network is, but it's not It's not just limited to what they give me. I find it. Yeah, you go looking for it. Yeah. Demands it from on demand. How's your chick doing? <laughs> your chick doing all right? Okay? Yeah, she's fine. You asked. <laughs> Twice yesterday. I don't know. I'm just checking in. Everything okay with her? She's good. She got itchy feet. She ready to move? She ready to try new things? I'm like, what? No, she's you know doing what she's doing. She's That's doing. great. Yeah. And she likes the wrestling as well. She's uh she's learned through osmosis. Yeah. You know. I mean, she knows. She probably could beat Fez in a wrestling trivia contest. Oh. Now. Oh. I doubt that. He's dating, by the way, Fabulous Moolah. <laughs> oh no! Oh, Who's that girlfriend? I didn't know. His girlfriend. Is. I was tricked into this. Is the other old lady still alive that used to come around out with Mullen? May Young, yeah, yeah. she is. It's going wow, into the Sam Hall of Fame everything. this year. Sam knows everything. Yep. He knows if May Young is alive. That's not everything. Ten to one. Ten to one. And some of the questions I got. Who's married to who? <laughs> Mall of America. Yeah, but I got those right. We gave you the Mall of America. <laughs> that was the <laughs> one that you got. I forced that into being okay. Mm -hmm. Let's just accept it. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. That was your one. Ridiculous questions from Johnny Fairplay. What do you feel like? You were cheated? I feel like, well, I mean, I'll take my part of the responsibility, but I thought I got the bad round of questions. Dave's got excuses. Fez has excuses. I know. It's the excuse mm. show. You want to double down? Loser leaves? Loser leaves do it too? No, I'd rather not. <laughs> I'm just going to pay my gold dust bet off today. Now, where are we doing this? Out on 57th Street? Yeah. We'll do it out on 57th Street. We'll head out uh, down to the corner, away from the front of the building. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Smart idea. Yeah. Keep it away from us. Exactly. What do you do as gold? You're going to be wrestling people in the street? No, I'll just be out there, you know, being gold dust, you know. I don't, re I don't know who gold dust really you is. You know, meeting people, that sort of thing. I will say this, though. I'll be out there with Fez, and I have my belt, so if anybody wants to come and get a picture with the wrestling expert at oh. 202, okay. it should when, be great. I doubt there'll be a rush. Well, but, uh, you know, a lot of little kids are going to want to do it. And people bringing little kids, come meet the champ. Yeah. It's a touristy area. You know, we're in Midtown. Finally, the champ has come back to the corner of 57th and 6th. Yeah. To the Delta Diner. Why do you do this, Watley? You find at least one person to wrestle. Just get some <laughs> fucking person. You fucking take them down and kick their ass. I'm going to have to and find a little your... old lady person. Why? You don't think you can beat a man? I don't know. I get winded quick. I don't want, the hell is this bragging? <laughs> I've never heard somebody yell, well, I don't know, I get winded quick. This is a bit the worst, that's the worst wrestling promo anyone's ever cut. You're stronger than you think. I'll be, I'll be exhausted on you this Tuesday night. It's my finisher.
Hey, now, Fez, how long does it take you to get dressed? Because we want to be out there, too. I'd today. say probably about 10 minutes, 10, right, 12 so minutes it should take you me. You probably, in 10 minutes, I want you to go on your way. And what are you going to be wearing as this uh, wrestling character? Well, I'll be, of course, in gold dust makeup, gold and black makeup. Mm -hmm. I'll have the blonde wig and the gold spandex. Now, what was gold dust's era? What are we talking about here? He started in 1996. So this is a 1996 joke. Yeah, I mean, he was big. Is <laughs> yeah. Was big in 96. That was the right? debut. Yeah. yeah. So if this was 1996, we would be doing a 1984 joke. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> okay. So he would be dressing up as JYD. <laughs> sure. But I mean, okay. both were very successful. I just want to point out how poorly run this radio promotion is. <laughs> I think it's because there's nobody around that wears gold spandex and gold paint. So. Hey. Now, you are going to be down there with us, Sam? Absolutely. I wouldn't and miss this for the world. What is your role going to be? Well, I'll be there uh, kind of letting people know I'm the wrestling expert. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm the reason that Fez Dust is there. I'm going to head down with you guys. Okay. And if I make sure that this thing is funny, I'm hopping in a cab and heading home. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> do everything we can... Not to have people notice that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Earl, we need to break here? All right, we'll take a break. Uh, when we come back, we are, uh, we'll be on uh, 57th Street and 6th Avenue in Manhattan as we watch Fez pay off his bet as gold dust. It's the Ron Fez Show. Uh, the Ron Fez Show out on the street right now on 57th Avenue. Uh, I'm standing out here and still no Fez Watley. And I also have that feeling that you would have in high school where they would uh, ring the fire alarm and everyone would walk out into the parking lot. And then you would think, why am I? I'm so close to home, I'm just leaving. There is no reason now that I'm outside the building that I want to stay anymore. Um, Dave, do you know where um, Fez Dust is? Fez Dust, I believe, is still upstairs, just letting the magic uh, consume him. And who bitched and said that he wasn't going to be ready in time? Was that not me? That was Ron Bennington. Yeah, so now I'm standing out here with a, uh, a microphone. Uh, Earl, can you hear me in the studio? Yes, I can. I can hear you loud and clear. Is Fez on the way down yet? I mean, Fez Dust? He's still getting ready and still getting all prepped up and trying to look as glamorous as he can be. Yeah. Uh, run a mic back to him because I want to get his ass down here even if he's only halfway done. Hey, uh, Ronnie. Uh, Fez? Yes. I'm down here. Where are you? I'm just putting the final touches on this. There's a lot more gold than I expected. Guess what? No what? final touches. Come on down. Come well, on down just uh, as finished as you are right now. Well, I just wanted it to be perfect. Now, I, I never did the walkover with ONA. What's with the stupid thing that Hicks is pushing around? It's embarrassing, isn't it? it really, this contraption that they have put together, that I, I, and then they have to follow us like that? Yeah, it looks like the uh, new laser gun that the Army has. They showed on 60 Minutes. It looks like a homeless electronics man. Uh, he's, got, <laughs> he's got nowhere to go. All right, get down here, Fezzi, because it's right. very stupid for me. People are looking at me, and I got nothing to sell. I'll be down in just a second. Yeah. All right. So um, now, Sam and Sam are over here. You're familiar with the Gold Dust character? Very familiar. Yeah. Is this even going to be slightly amusing or an embarrassment? Well, I think I think it will be slightly amusing, at least. Slightly. At least. All right. That's not even a word. So, you are you ready? If I catch a cab, are you ready to just handle this? to the end of the show because I really am outside now and there's no reason to, to stay anymore. It's a nice day, Ron. Yeah. I mean, you, you have a nice lunch ahead of you. And my other problem is I can't wear a hat with my headphones and I'd really like to go. All right, waiting for uh, Fez Dust to come walking out of here and be able to deliver the fact that uh, hopefully people on 57th Street will think that he is gold dust. Um... It may be one of the worst things done in the history of radio. I don't see it being even slightly funny. Do you, Dave? Well, it's the older gentleman in a gold costume. I think there's something humorous about that. Yeah. Face painting. Face painting. The long tradition of face painting on the radio. Nothing more enjoyable than that. Yeah. Uh, you know what I hate, too? He's on his way down here. If somebody gets stuck in a elevator with him, just traveling <laughs> down, and he's... uh. Why the long hair for Goldust, though? Someone's shown me a picture 
of uh, what Gold Dust looks like. Why would Gold Dust have long hair? He was Hollywood, you know. He's like old school Hollywood. So he came out with the big robe with the. All right, here on. he comes, and I'm I'm actually fucking running <laughs> because it's so embarrassing looking. All right, here comes Gold Yay! Dust out into the street. Surrounded. On it's a Shattered Dreams production. Yeah. Fast Dust is here. Yeah. It's what you've been waiting for. Yeah. And you will remember the name of Fast Dust. All right, this is an embarrassment. Let's get away from our building, Fez Dust. This is an absolute embarrassment, Fez Dust, here in New York City. I'll tell you what. Yeah. Fez, don't, don't look at me when you talk. Fez, I don't want people to think I'm with you. Fez thought spandex would have been a little warmer. All right, look at this woman's shocked over here. Sapphire, how are you? <laughs> Ma'am, are you surprised to see Fez Dust out here on the street? I certainly am. Yeah. What is this? What? The, uh, the point here to get the mic on, on her, uh, please. Uh, this is Fez Dust, and he's the hottest thing in Hollywood right now. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> well, if you're the hottest thing, be hot. Oh! Oh, no, you did. Oh, yeah, she yes, did. I did. <laughs> All right, thank you, ma'am. Face. Yeah, there she goes. I never understand carrying a cane and not using it. I, it's, a, <laughs> it's one way or the other. Uh, people getting some nice shots. The paparazzi has gathered yeah. around Fez Dust. Yes, they're all here for Fez Dust. Yeah. Uh, Fez does meeting people as we come along, some impressed and some acting like, I can't believe this asshole's blocking traffic. There's a man with a limp who's now running. Yeah, <laughs> it is. And he, he's. And he can't even do it. Yeah. They're so, just all enthralled with Fez Dust. Hello, ladies. Did you want to go over and meet him, Fez Dust? Yes. Uh, Where are you ladies from? Yeah, we're at the Buckingham now. Yeah. And oh, from Russia. Russia. Man, oh. Oh. In a golden do you know suit Nikolai Volkov? <laughs> or, no, it's rather a lady. Mm, Ivan yeah. Cola. Uh, yeah. What do you want to tell what? me? No, no one. None of them. They All don't right. know any of the old Russian wrestlers. One of the Russian ladies has run back into the hotel oh. to get away from Fez Dust. She's left. Yeah. I don't. I think you're the exact opposite of what popular is. <laughs> Normally, people draw crowds. You're actually pushing them away. Wait a minute. I believe there's a character change coming. Uh-oh. Character change for Fez Dust. I believe it's Hulk Dust. Ooh, yeah. The Hulk Dust. Hulk Dust. <laughs> Hulk Dust running wild on 57th is Street. Is there any uh, Is there any sense to that? No, uh, there's, there's no correlation between Hulk Hogan and Gold Dust. All right. <laughs> Why are you doing that, Fez Dust? When, Fe when Fez Dust would turn into the different wrestlers, but with dust on their name. I see. That was much Not later. really at all. Yeah. All right, let's move away from our building. Let's keep heading down uh, to the corner here. Um, literally, uh, you look around in New York and you would think that people would be somehow impressed with a person in a gold suit. No one cares. A lot of people just going about their business. Yeah. You know, like if you did this in Oklahoma, it would make the paper. But uh, in New York, they're like, Has somebody move the fag with the fucking gold face before I blow him away. Uh, gold dust bringing some heat to himself. I want somebody to actually believe that it's the real gold dust. Amen. That would be my favorite out of all this. Here's some uh, folks at all, not really uh, caring. Fez dust, everyone! Fez dust! Everyone meet gold dust. WrestleMania coming up in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> Petition to have me put in the Hall of Fame. People are oh. walking into the street nice to stay talk. away from uh, <laughs> Fez Dust. Here's a gentleman, looks like he's interested. Uh, sir, did you notice Gold Dust was in town? No, don't want any part of it, huh? All right, there he goes. Not you interest. will remember the name. I don't think so. A Fez Dust. Yeah. People going out of their way not to look at Gold Dust as we sit here. Hello, sir. Yes. How you doing? I'm yes. Fez Dust. And I'm the Hulk star. Oh, really? Yes. Face. Face. We both let ourselves go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's great interaction. That was Fez a long handshake. Yeah. All right, it's great to I meet I think it was S.D. Jones. Yes. Well, you, you got to be... Yes, ma'am. I don't know. Yeah. I, what do you think of uh, all gold dust here? Magnificent. Magnificent? Thank you. I think gold dust is just marvelous. I'm uh, just marvelous? Yes. And where are you from, Emma? Are you local? 79th Street. 79th Street. You're doing well for yourself then. 
All right, there she goes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, by the way, Elton John called. He wants the glasses back as soon as mm -hmm. possible. No, no, can't have them back. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Mula. There she goes, <laughs> the fabulous Mula. The people you'll meet out here. You really That's never. Nice. All right, That's get away from me. Be near. Uh, I don't really That's want to be tied nice. in with the. Uh, people are literally walking into 57th Street not to meet you, not to have anything to do with you at all. Pictures are available. Yeah. This is really an embarrassment. This is normally a very, very busy corner. Uh, not today. Especially in mid-afternoon. I don't understand yeah. what went wrong. Everyone taking Friday off. People walking into the bus lane not to have anything to do with <laughs> Fez dust. Now, was there some place this was going to go to work uh, comedically? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just do your Fez Dust thing for a while, and we'll watch you yeah. from afar. The spandex is a little tight. It's starting to cut off some circulation around the gut area. Yeah. See if uh, people... Uh, here's somebody who wants to meet you, do Fez I Dust. Any, do I have... Hello, any? Fez Dust. How uh, are you? I'm doing really well. How are how you doing? Good. Uh -oh. Where are you from? <laughs> Providence. Will you remember the name Fez Dust? Oh, absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate that. WrestleMania coming up in Orlando, Florida. All right, we are now in the corner of 57th Street and Bad Radio. If uh, you would like to come by and see Fez Dust. Fez the... Dust is here. I'm paying off my bet to Sam yeah. from the Sam and Sam show. I am the wrestling expert. Now, is he supposed to look like an Oscar? Is that the joke? An Oscar with long hair? Stop it, Dave. Stop it. Stop it. That's the, the crowd run. started. Yeah. That was the crowd. You know, I really want to see him meet some tourists, I think, might be the uh, gimmick. Now, were you planning on doing anything funny with this, Fez? I was planning. Yeah. The wig is awfully cumbersome. Yeah. <laughs> Could we assign one of the interns to help him with his yes. wig? Yes. Who do we have there? Hi. Yes. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. Yeah. Good. Fez dust. Fez dust. Okay, I'll remember. How could I forget? There you go. <laughs> See? Okay. All in gold. Yeah. Thank you. Where are you headed today? I'm, I'm in Delta. I'm working here. Delta. These Delta. Are, these are my buses. <laughs> yeah, US these are your buses. Trade. If you need, you need a car or a limousine, we got Always. It. Yeah. Fez dust always goes in style. Remember, right. for your traveling okay. needs, call Delta. Delta, now, everybody. U.S. Coachways. Oh, That's U.S. Coachways. Delta. These are yeah. my buses. Right. They're beautiful. You love them? Yeah. yeah gorgeous buses. <laughs> you have a gorgeous bus. Fezzy, why schlep to the airport when you can take a beautiful uh, coach we'll over right here? here. <laughs> you got a beautiful coach over here. What's it, what's it cost right now to go to the airport? It's for free. For free? Yeah. All right. And could we get him on a plane, do you think? Where Would it be possible? Go? Anywhere. Anywhere. Maybe the Gold Coast of Florida. Mm -hmm. All right. Go in. Book it. Go in and book it. And we'll what? take you. Yeah. Would I make it through the metal detector like this? I don't know. I don't and remember, <laughs> when you want to travel, take a beautiful bus out to the airport and hop on Delta. Delta, taking you anywhere. All right, sir. Sure, right. I'll pose guys. with you. Yeah. I'll pose with you. Oh, where are you from, sir? Uh, Germany. From Germany. Oh, oh. Hey, sorry about that war, oh, no, but no. remember, <laughs> it took a lot of us to stop you. East or west? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. What? Uh, uh, West Germany. West Germany. West yes. Germany. Yeah. Great. Yay, finally, yeah. It's great. Well, uh, are you enjoying New York so far? Yes, very nice here. Yeah. Yes. It's a lot better than invading Poland, isn't it? <laughs> it's really a nice... See how nice Warmer. we can all get along? Yeah. All right, okay. you're having your picture taken with Jew dust. There he is. Stand up next. There Very you nice. go. Yeah. Okay. All right. Take care. Enjoy New York City, sir. Mm -hmm. yep. Good luck next time around. All right. All right. Do you know my friend Anthony? Yeah. There he goes. Back to the Fatherland. Mm -hmm. Ah, they're plotting something. You can tell. Yeah, sure. They're always. He's taking back pictures of Fezdas to the Fuhrer. Come by and meet Fezdas. Come on over, ma'am. You little hot bastard. Mm -hmm. We'll get you. I tell you, I, there's a woman with a walker who went into the street not to meet gold dust. <laughs> Unbelievable. I don't understand what the unappeal is. I think it's because you're too close to the Delta bus. <laughs> that could Fez be the, it's overshadowing me. Yeah. Fez dust right now in the corner of 57th, and we thought this would be funnier. He's <laughs> just hanging out here. Uh, Earl, how long does this bit have to go on before the show's over? Um, we got to go to about 240. 
Uh, I don't have a clock, so you need to tell me. Um, it is now 2.22. we got about right. 19 minutes. Another 19 minutes of a failed bit uh, is going on, Goldust. Uh, even at this point, you're not glad that you won, are you? Not really. I got the bell, but it's barely a prize. Nobody it really seems is. to be wanting to meet the champ out here. Yeah. People coming by, yeah. hopefully they'll get the opportunity to meet Fez Dust. Gold meet the Dust champion. Is turning away all yeah. the champ's fans. Hello, I'm Fez Dust. How yeah, are you? She's with us, so that oh. doesn't help. She's actually with the crew that came down here to watch this radio abortion. Yeah, the champion's here. How are you, sir? Where are you from? He doesn't want to be part of this, Dave. Stay away from him. Do your gimmick, Fez, and we'll all laugh. It's gold dust. Not to us, to strangers. Right. Try to meet some strangers. We've heard it. Yeah. We do already know it's not funny. Here they come across the street. Excuse me? Okay, yes. Hey, my friend really likes you. Hello. Yes, I'm talking to special needs citizens out here. <laughs> yes, it's Fez Dust. Thank you. Great. You like Hi, that? Fez Dust. How are you? Hola. 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 Hey, no, I speak French, though. Parlez-vous français? Oh. Si. Je viens, uh, si. Hey, good si. thing. Say we are français. We. 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 I have to we. It's yeah. cold. <laughs> yeah, it's cold for me, too. Yes. But I'm from Montreal, so I find this like Miami, this weather. Mm. This is... You never heard of Montreal? I've heard of Montreal. Well, yeah, you got to come and visit us sometimes. Oh, great. Not, not since Pino Bravo was though. killed, though. No, I won't do it. No, okay. I'd, anyway, I'd suggest you change that garb if you're coming up to Montreal. This actually, anyway, to luck. me, uh, is now coming off like a scene from Al Pacino's cruising movie <laughs> in the late 70s. This is Hello, such ladies. an embarrassment. It's Fez Dust. Welcome to New York. Where are you from? Get him out of the street, Utah. please. I don't want anybody to get, get hurt. You're all from you're all from Utah. Yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry about that Romney campaign. <laughs> what? She's like Fez Dust is being mean. What have you done so far in New York, ladies? Um, we were shopped on Canal Street. Yeah. Oh. Um, I could tell by the fake purses. <laughs> oh, they're real. These ones are real. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, they sell those on Canal Street. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yeah, it's great to get brand names for four dollars. Yeah. <laughs> And what's the funnest thing you've done in New York so far? The funnest? Yeah. Um, shopping. Just shopping? How would Watching you like... Watching all the meat stacked on Carnegie Deli sandwiches. Serendipity. Oh. And we saw Meg Ryan. Is that right? You saw Meg Ryan uh -huh. and Serendipity? Uh -huh. Very nice. They just reopened after the rat problem. Why don't you... Hey, how would you like to be the first Mormons ever to smoke crack? There's a big party I'm throwing tonight. It's kind of a New York gangster thing. <laughs> it is the big city. Yeah. Fez does, uh, they're, they're busting us. There we go. Everybody run. Thank you, ladies. Thanks for being here. Enjoy your trip to New York. I hope that wasn't the lady on the walker. Yeah. I have... Uh, Take care, young Mormons. Yeah, bye-bye. I have uh, completely changed on how much, how great I think Mormon ass is. Hello. Oh. I'm Fez Dust. Yes. Fez Dust. Yeah. Yes. What do you think of Fez Dust? Fez Dust. Yes. Oh, you're interesting. Yeah. 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 Yeah, real, real interesting. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, it really is. And I'm a, it's cold out, so don't judge me by that. Oh, no, 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 no. All right. Yeah, I there should it. be some kind of bulge in tights. <laughs> There's no doubt about that. They're well, tight. We, they're just tight. not that tight. Well, not tight enough because you're not squeaking, so it's okay. There you go. So. All right. Thank you very thank much. You, sir. Yeah. We're gonna like hear George Animal steals on his <laughs> eyebrows. Yeah. Uh, so what does Gold Dust normally do? All right, here. Let's try to meet these gentlemen over Hello. here. Hello. I'm Fez Dust. Hey guys, how you doing? Good, how Who's are there? you? Where are you from, sir? South Korea. South Korea? Yep. Okay, you ever see the TV show MASH? Uh, first time here. Yeah, first time here in New York? Mm -hmm. What have you done so far? Uh, I'm looking for... Um, yeah, yeah. You looking for friendship? No, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> how'd you like, like to meet a nice lady? Oh, mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, all right, very nice. I love you guys on Heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Do they know? Gold dust should start to fly off I'm you. I'm starting to molt. <laughs> My feather bow is going, that yeah. sort of thing. What part of uh, South Korea are you from, sir? Uh, I have no idea. No. <laughs> hey, do you know a brother run over there run by the name of Ying? No. Okay, all right. I don't so know Yang. I thought maybe you know him. He's a he friend of mine. He knows you. He owes me money. 
All right, well, enjoy your uh, your trip here in America. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? It's very uh, unusual. So far, everyone we've met, we've defeated in a war. I don't know what it is. It's almost like meeting the jobbers. Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm fine. Where are you from? Here. You're from here? Yes, well, yes. you have a beautiful apartment. Oh, you're listening at the same time. Mm. Gold dust. There he is. What do you think of Fez dust? You look great. Yeah. Thank you very much. It looks very... Try to I, grab. I, no one said we could touch Fez dust. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Try to grab some of the people coming across the street, Fez dust. Hello. We, uh, Welcome to New York. I'm don't Fez let, dust. Don't, Would Fez. anyone like to meet Fez dust? They, anyone? Going out of their way, walking through traffic to say what? It's starting are, to hurt my feelings. Excuse me, sir. Are you on the Fez? Yes, we are. How are you? Your show. Thank you very much, sir. That's Fez dust right Fez there. Fez dust. How are you? Very good. Yeah. You guys are fantastic. I love your show. Thank oh, you. Thank you. All right. I, Tell a does friend. Does it really hurt when somebody shoot, uh, shoot you with that um? Uh, balloon ink gun? Yes, yes it hurts the ink to be gun shot really with an hurts. Ink gun. We're answering all the questions out here today. <laughs> yes. I, I, did you get stung by an octopus? I don't remember an ink gun. I think he means a pen. No, no, Someone no. threw a pen at me. Yeah. You know, uh, here's some more people coming by. Uh, Hello, Fezzy. Fez Dust. How are you? How are you? What is your name, sir? What, Who you? are you? Fez yeah. Dust. Fad. From the Ron and Fez show. Now, don't no ever bring up my is. fucking oh. name on the street. Oh, wrestling? I am telling you right now. <laughs> is it oh. wrestling? Now, yes, it's wrestling. Yes. Do a wrestling move no, for him, Fez. No, wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of the look, though? What do I think of the look? Uh, maybe a I little thought, toe hold here. I thought maybe it was a prostitute from behind you. Whoa. <laughs> well, it could be. How much are you offering? Yeah. Absolutely zero. I'll offer a prayer for you. Uh, and what, that's what, it. What religion are you, sir? Roman Catholic and oh. very proud. Uh, well, I'm a Muslim, and one day we will burn this Muslim. place to the ground. Thank you very much. It's great wow. to meet you. Uh, we will eat your children. I don't know. Goldust should really be more. Hello, sir. Fez dust. <laughs> How are you? Sexual. Yes. Than this. Oh God. What? That guy just glared. He just looked plain mean. Yeah. Uh, Fez, I out of all the bad radio bits you've done, this is the worst. <laughs> and I kid you not, this is literally the most embarrassing I've uh, I've ever been in radio. Hello, it's Fez dust. That's a woman no. who, she's hiding her face from me. Yeah. She actually put something over her mouth, as if she could... Oh, geez, look at this winter coming your way. Hello, sir. It's Fez Dust. Come What's on up and out of the street. Get him out of the street, Peter. Fez. Yeah. Hello. Where are you from, Peter? Um, Cambridge in, in England. No Americans will talk to us. We will only be talking... No, not one here. Yeah, Cambridge, great school, huh? Yeah. 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 In the meantime, you got no teeth in your wearing... What are you doing fucking... in the States? <laughs> Having a holiday. Having a holiday. Yeah, having a good time. Yeah, what have you done so far, sir? Rockefeller Center, Rock Empire State Building, yeah. the Staten Island Ferry. Oh, yeah, it's all new stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah. great yeah. stuff. Way Everybody to get off the tourist beaten track and see it all. And now you're just walking around uh, yeah, town get, in an NYPD drink. shirt looking local. <laughs> yeah. On the way back to Salisbury, we're going home shortly. All right, well, have a wonderful trip back there. Thank you. And you know what? If you guys wouldn't have worn red jackets, maybe all this could have been yours now. Who <laughs> knows? You lose one war and look what you, you lost for it. Thanks for coming in, sir. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Peter. Bye-bye. I don't want anyone to get confused with the NYPD sweatshirt. He's not really with the police department. Yeah. I'm sure the, the, the little town of Cambridge is happy to have him. I hope he sees some of our fine dental in industries here oh, <laughs> while he's in industries. town. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's Fez Dust. Hi, Hi. How are you? Come on up here. What's your name? Claudia. And where are you from? De Bolivia. 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 Sí. Bolivia. Bolivia. Hey, you know what? I probably put you guys through school. So, uh, congratulations. No, no, South bien. American ladies. English. Yeah. What's that? You don't speak any English? No, I speak much English. Well, you know the international language of... There it is. Thank you. That's good Coke. You got any uh, Coca? Coca? Yale? No, no, no. No, no, yeah. No, yeah. All right. Get the fuck Playing out of here. Playing dumb, Ronnie. Playing dumb. Yeah. None of the broads ever have any on their own. Yes, yes. Yeah, you get can your have a picture. picture taken. All right. Bye bye, honey. No, I'd love to buy your candy. <laughs> what are you selling there, kid? Oh, this is the help put our basketball team back on the map. Mm hmm. Yeah. Fez, go over. 
Hello. Hi, Goldie. How are you? Good. Goldie. How are you doing? What's your name, dear? Miriam. Yeah. So, uh, and what do you what? think of gold dust? What do I think of gold dust? Yeah. Um, excuse me if I'm a little ignorant as to what gold dust is. Gold dust is a wrestling icon. A wrestling icon. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yes. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I appreciate you're, you you're and your welcome. furry hat talking to me. Fez, did you actually think this was going to go somewhere out on the street? Did you think to yourself, we'll find comedy out here? Hello, ma'am. <laughs> it's gold dust. Please. Fezzy, do me a favor and don't chase the homeless. <laughs> gold dust is out on the, uh, the uh, corner of 57th. And uh-oh, this is another bit that went into the shitter. Uh, trying to pull this one out of his ass. Hello, sir. How you doing, buddy? How's everything? Good. Yeah. It's Fez Dust. It's what? Fe I'm Fez Dust. What's Fez Dust? Fez Dust is me. I'm a wrestling icon. All right. How are you? What's good, your name? Good. Ziggy. Ziggy. I'm a Rastafarian. <laughs> right. No. I see from the hair. Is that your hair, sir? Yes, it is. Yeah. It really is? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but just buy that no. in Times Square, oh. yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's bald. <laughs> so can I be a wrestler too? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and take him down. Of course. <laughs> take him down, and there's big money in it. If you think you can, Ziggy. <laughs> now, Ziggy, so why? When's up, when's up? We gotta have a championship match then. Z Z Not Ziggy, why would you think uh, I'm gonna put on a Rastafarian wig and walk around town? Of course, if you gotta be keep a happy medium on the job. I work construction, you know, uh -huh. it's miserable construction. Right. So you gotta make people happy. So the other guys are like, I hate spot welding. Wait a minute, look at Ziggy's hair. Yeah, this is great. They see me, they like, oh, smile. All right. <laughs> Does that take the place of a construction helmet? Yeah, yeah. Look, it's hard. It don't. No, this is only New York that you could dress up like that, Fez, and still only be the second best character on that? any different street corner. Exactly. Yeah. All right, so um, listen, I gotta go back to work. Yeah. Nice yeah. You guys. All right. All right. All right. Take care of yourself. What, what, now, what, what station was now here's on? the beauty of this. How'd you like to be in an elevator and know that Ziggy worked on it? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. All okay, right. How you doing, guys? All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Ziggy. Hi, yeah. girls. Where are you off to? They're in the street, Fezzy. Don't stop them, please. Only people on the sidewalk. I don't want anyone to get hit by a bus. Gold dust is out still trying to make it work. Uh, walking up the corner of 57th Street as we head back up uh, the Fez Dust character that we were hoping could take Fez out of the funk that he was in yesterday has, uh, I'd say, pretty much laid an egg, Fezzy. <laughs> Probably not getting the popular reaction I was hoping to to Fez Dust out here. Well, I can't believe that some of the street performers have just blown you away. Maybe if you act like you're doing the robot. Oh, okay, I can do that. Yeah. Hey, everybody, there's a guy in gold doing a robot. Give him a nickel. Nothing. Got a honk. That was about it. Yeah, that's about Look, again, we've got people walking through the street to get away from him. We're going to get sued. We're in one of the busiest corners in New York, and people are going out of their way to stay away from Fez Dust. I thought Fez Dust would have captivated them. Yeah. There's the lady running with her baby. That's not her baby. That's oh, a no. gypsy. Hello, sir. Hey, making friends, Fez? Trying. <laughs> yeah. Hello, sir. The guy actually tugs his shoulder as if it was an attempt at rape. <laughs> Fez, Let me see who else I can please meet out stay here. away from the corner. That's all I'm asking you. You only got about three minutes to pull this one out of the shitter, Fez. You got to see if you can make it done. Fez, uh, these pictures will be up on ronfez.net very, very shortly. Fez Dust out on the corner of 57th Street doing everything he can to make something happen with his bit. Maybe next time you know to win uh, a contest. I'll study my wrestling trivia. He doesn't yeah. have a shot anyway. Uh, yeah, I don't think he does. It, see if you can meet these ladies over here. Hello, ladies. I'm Fez Dust. They how ran are in the you? street. They <laughs> ran in the goddamn street. When they go into the street, Fez, stay away. Here, how about if all the rest of us pull back so Fez is alone and they don't see the rest of us in the way? Not, still nothing. They go out of their way to stay away from him. They're making a wide berth around me. Uh huh. Much like the listeners, uh, it's the same exact situation. Here come some people. Yeah. Make it work. Hello, Festus. Nice to meet you. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Shuman. And Shuman. where are you from? Bangladesh. 
Bangladesh. Yes. What are you doing in New York? He's looking for George Harrison. No, we're all just a little suspicious. What are you doing in New York? <laughs> just working and, uh, you know, relax. Okay, just working no one's and relax. buying that story. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, again, along. people walking in the streets to stay out of this bad gimmick. This sidewalk has really cleared out. Yeah. So is this neighborhood. That man had a really mean look on his face. He was a delivery boy. I don't think I'm ever going to watch wrestling again. No, you shouldn't. All right, let's see if you can't capture these two. Hello, it's Fez Dust. How are you? <laughs> yeah. All right, great hat. My mom, my grandmother used to put that over toilet paper. People, they, you're actually making old people run old to people, stay away from you. You would think the foreigners would love this. The what? The foreigners. Okay. <laughs> the visitors, the tourists. Yeah. Making friends, here he is. Fez Hello, does. Fez does. Care to share the pizza? Do not let people run into the street. Pull it over, and I don't want anybody to run in the street to get away from you. Turn around and try to make a friend. Hello, everyone. Fez Dust. Welcome. Welcome to New York. Where they want no part of you. Not one of them. There's probably eight people in that group. You uh, remind them of every rape nightmare they've ever had. Fez Dust out here at 57th Street and 6th Avenue. Uh, well, that's just about wrapping it up down here, too, Fezzy. And you did a good job. What do you think of Fez Dust, everyone? Yeah! Thank you, everyone. You it's, will remember the name. You know, my opinion has always been it's better to have bad radio than good radio. I don't know why. I just find that it's more memorable. But to see this tube out here was uh, it was a joy, Fuzzy. It, it was really fun, was. and my, you know, my, you know, off to Sam who won. You but, know the trivia competition. All right, now with the wig off. Yes. You look like Gold Dust's. Uh, sickly grandmother. <laughs> Grandma Cancer dust. dust? Cancer dust. That's who you look like. Now. There's one more dust I'd like to introduce, though. Who's that? That's Gold Dust, the barber beef. Yeah! Yeah! No, he's trying to shave. He's trying to shave Sam's head. Get away from the door. Get away from the door. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Stay away from the sky door. All right, off we go. They didn't get you with it, did they? Oh. After with a razor. Two guys wrapping their arms around my neck and saying, good job. We always want to be good neighbors here in New York. Right. And not get our show in trouble. So we head up the road. And that's just about it for the Ron and Fez show. Fezzy walks back once again, downtrodden and dejected, not realizing the greatness that awaits him in the 21st century. All right, Ron and Fez show, by the way, we're still getting over the embarrassment that was gold dust and the uh, guy downstairs says to me gold dust coming down today i go no that's a fucking one day we thank you priest uh fez you got out there on the uh on the street dressed as gold dust right and then what and then nothing happened and then i just <laughs> drew like a giant blank once I was in costume and full gold makeup. I couldn't help you cuz I didn't know what gold dust did or why this was a bet but we all went downstairs, yeah, and Fez just stood there. <laughs> right. So I started kind of interviewing tourists that were walking by, and then Fez slash Goldust started interviewing tourists. <laughs> Hi, where are you from? And I go, this cannot be why we came downstairs. He certainly didn't appear to be a wrestler. No, it <laughs> was not. You didn't think? It didn't appear to be anything. He, he was just... Uh, Interviewing people, but it didn't happen to have on a long gold wig. It and then we had people running into the street to get away from them, which I'm like, yeah. all right, this could fuck up us if somebody gets hit by a car. And then uh, you guys uh, tackled Sam and Sam into another building's door. Right. And I look over, and there's gold dust smashing <laughs> them up against the door. And I'm like, this, uh, this is beyond fucking what it should be. Yeah. Time out. End of show. <laughs>
So I don't know why we meet after the show every day, Mooch. You've been you've been here as the artist in residence. You can see now none of this stuff makes sense. No, it's hard to it's hard to believe. Well, the meetings tend to, the meetings tend to be just like in ten minutes of work, and then everyone he berate Earl. Yeah, I know. And Earl and try and get Earl to like scream or leave the room, and he tends to do one or the other. But what if this would have been one of the things? What should gold dust do? <laughs> Maybe that's one of the things that we have meetings about. Yeah. And I looked over at you, Fez. And your eyes had kind of glazed over. I went into a very bizarre world of confusion down there. And it's something that's been happening to me. Like, I knew, I had it in my mind what Goldust was going to do. Because Goldust always did, like, movie quotes and stuff on wrestling. So I was planning on, like, acting out scenes and stuff. Recreating scenes with maybe some of the people walking by. That sort of thing. Hmm. And <laughs> why would they? Then, <laughs> why would people? First of all, they didn't even want to see you or touch you. I can't imagine one of them wanting to do it on the waterfront with you. May, you should have looked out for me. You were my brother, not my knight. More where it was worked out in my head, I guess. And then I just drew a complete blank when I got down there. And I've been having memory troubles lately. I wish and I did, so I didn't remember Friday. <laughs> That's my dream, Fuzzy, to have memory troubles. How come Gold Dust only had one gold shoe? <laughs> what was that? I ran out of gold paint. <laughs> I'm going to tell you the Pitsy truth. Pitsy was in charge of wardrobe and ran out of gold paint. I don't think that was the worst thing about the bit. <laughs> I don't no. think the fact of the one gold shoe was the worst thing. But I, I got downstairs, had no idea what we were doing and why a drug on so long. And I know other shows don't act like that. I know that there's a rhyme and reason to why people do things. <laughs> Did you think everybody was just going to love you because you're wearing gold? Maybe that's what it was. It seemed to be. It seemed to play out in my head, and then I got down there, and like I said, I just couldn't remember anything to do. I couldn't remember that was gold your, dust lines. That was your time to be in control. Right, absolutely. And guess who came up with the idea of gold dust? Who? I don't know. It was not me or any of us. I think it was you. We don't know was who Gold Dust is. Yes, <laughs> you and that fucking Sam and Sam are the only two who understand what Gold Dust is or does. I'm like, okay, you got to be Gold Dust. <laughs> yeah, well, Fez has got to be trapped being Gold Dust. How did I fucking know it was gonna turn on me? Of all the characters to choose, too, by the way, Gold yeah. Dust. Uh, here's uh, Mark. Mark, yeah, I know it's a ten year old bit. <laughs> That no one remembers, including the guy who did it. <laughs> oh, he could have been stone cold. Why didn't you just say you're going to be Anthony Verone from my old neighborhood? <laughs> I'll put on a wife beater. <laughs> hey, where's my brother Gino? That would be it. Uh, Mark, you're going to run to Fez. Hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah. Listen, Fez, I was wondering why all of a sudden you went from being gold dust and Fez dust, and then you turned into Hulk dust and started uh, copying other wrestlers and adding... I saw that at one time. Did that make sense? Well, that was something that gold dust would do. He would turn into different wrestlers. Well, you only turned into one and only for a second. We really needed a gold dust bio. Right. And, and the, the listeners needed to hear some sort of gold dust documentary before. Just to update him on the character. Yeah, well, it was he all, was never that good. It was very confusing to me. My mind just went blank. Maybe it was the gold paint seeping into your head. Did you get that off all right? Uh -huh. No, it, it, I'm no. still digging glitter off of me. It looked pretty. Like out of my ears. And yeah, that the sort one of thing. thing you did look good. I don't yeah. know if you look like gold dust, <laughs> but it was like a good costume. You look like an Oscar. Yeah, that's what gold dust is supposed to look like. Hmm. All gold. Like he's an Academy Award. <laughs> and then he just stands there as people walk by, <laughs> and when you try to talk to him, he just glazes over. <laughs> yeah, I thought Gold Dust was like about like sex. Like, doesn't he's always like touching himself and stuff. But you didn't really do much of that. No, that's part of it too, you're right. That I forgot about. <laughs> Alright, no more contests <laughs> with you. <laughs> Seriously. And how long remember didn't we that have six long. weeks? Yeah. We had six weeks probably in between the contest and this. Right. To, to go out there and go, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, it's just something with me right now where I cannot remember stuff. Where I'm actually going to see the doctor today about it. About your gold dust character? <laughs> no. Here's what you need to do, Fess. <laughs> Come he out and act like you're being very sexual. <laughs>